Hello, hi and welcome. This is Dr. Hadi here and you are watching Medical Globe by Dr. Hadi. Dear students, today the next topic is again from biochemistry that is classification of amino acid on the basis of metabolic role because we have discussed the amino acids classification on the basis of polarity and on the basis of nutritional value. This will be the third category of the third way of classification of the amino acid. I have already recorded the um, uh, classification of amino acid on the basis of polarity and nutritional value. You can watch my videos. Now, on the basis of metabolic role, you know that inside our body we have liver and this liver can be called as the factory of the body. The liver has a, a vast variety of functions. Among these functions, one function is conversion of one molecule into another. One nature's molecule, one type of molecule, carbohydrate into protein or protein into carbohydrate, lipid into carbohydrate or carbohydrate into lipid. So this interconversion of molecule is the function of the liver. So, let me tell you one thing more, that our body need or use glucose as a fuel source because we need energy and our body get that energy from glucose. So, glu glucose is available in our body, in the blood, in the liver, but sometimes there is deficiency of glucose and there is no carbohydrate left in the body. So then what happened? Our body convert something else means a lipid or a protein convert into glucose so that our body get the required level of the glucose for a long time because no glucose, no energy, the brain, your body will shut down. So the amino acids classification in this category falls into three subheadings. The first one is glycogenic amino acids. Glycogenic amino acids. Those amino acids which give us carbohydrate or glucose means they can act as a precursor, as a precursor to produce glycogen or glucose. Means if there is an amino acid, there is an amino acid and that is present in your body with the help of enzyme definitely there will be in there, there are numerous enzymes that will take part with the help of enzyme that amino acid will be converted into either a glucose or a glycogen whatsoever these two are carbohydrate so the conversion of amino acid into carbohydrate is called glycogenesis as well but that these amino acids are called as glycogenic. Genic means to produce. Glyco means glucose or glycogen or carbohydrate. So those amino acids which are glucose producing amino acids, we give them the name glycogenic. And what are the name of those amino acids? These are, the amino acid names are methionine, methionine. Now I have a trick, a mnemonics here just don't worry that is math is all ass <laughs> i have just mentioned here ass because so that we just memorize it no problem no issue at all for me it's okay you can make mnemonics of your choice but it will give you some love as well math is all math is all ass gly now for medical students math is a little bit problematic so meth for methionine is for isoleucine 
and all for alanine then we have as asparagin and then we have glycine let me confirm this s the s is aspartate sorry that was aspartate asparagin not asparagin that is aspartate because asparagin and aspartate both start with as so take care with this aspartate or oh, aspartic acid will be more good to say aspartic so these are the minus okay now come to the next kit kit ketogenic ketogenic these are those amino acids these are those amino acids which will be converted into ketone functional groups compound like like fatty acids because in fatty acid you can see there is c double bond o group is there and maybe an other ketone compound because ketone is a functional group and there are a variety of compound that are related to ketone but here ketogenic amino acid means those amino acid which will be converted into fats or lipids so you can write fatty acid or you can also write lipids now what are those amino acids i have just mentioned here lily lily is a flower l i double l y lily but you can uh, write l e l y lily and uh, lily can be the name of your friend so what l stand for l e l e stand for leucine leucine and l y stand for ly lysine so leucine and lysine these two are ketogenic amino acids and then we have another third country that i have mentioned as both means there are some amino acids that can give us um, ketonic compounds as well as glycogenic compounds both ketonic and glycogenic yeah there are some lucky amino acid as well I mean these are the amino acids like here i will write amino acid it can either give us glucose as well as fatty acid depend upon the condition so such lucky amino acids are called as both glucogenic and ketogenic and now the name of these amino acids are tryptophan trip, trypto, sorry, tryptophan alanine tyrosine tyrosine phenylalanine so the mnemonic here for both categories try is try is all tire ph and there is 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 for isoleucine is for isoleucine so try is all tire ph as a kind of statement triizal tire ph and then try for tryptophan is for isoleucine all for alanine tyr tire for tyrosine and ph for phenylalanine this was the end of this very again next short video lecture i hope you got the lecture if understand give us a like share the video also subscribe so that you will be notified first remember us in your prayers thank you bye bye Allah face